right, we are showing you live pictures from Kazakhstan right now, where three people are about to land back on Earth after spending 172 days on the International Space Station. NASA's Jeff Williams and two Russian cosmonauts were part of Expedition 48. We'll touch down in Kazakhstan shortly here. Now, Williams has spent a total of 534 days in space, the most time spent in space than any other U.S. astronaut. CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood joins us now. So, Bill, uh, this is the most experienced astronaut that NASA has among those landing in Kazakhstan. That's exactly right, Elaine. Uh, 534 days over four missions. Now, just to put that in perspective, uh, that puts Jeff Williams up to 14th on the list of world record holders. So there's 13 Russians ahead of him, including the world record holder Gennady Padalka, who has something like 878 days aloft over five missions. But still quite an accomplishment for Williams and one that I think NASA is hoping to repeat as time goes on. And Bill, explain to our viewers what exactly we're seeing right now, uh, where in Kazakhstan, we should mention it's about 7.14 a.m. Wednesday. Yeah, that's right. Uh, this is where the Russians always bring their uh, cosmonauts back to Earth uh, in Kazakhstan, on the steppe of Kazakhstan, as it's known. Very desolate area. Uh, you know, it's easy to bring the ship down there without any uh, impacts with local cities or things like that. Uh, what you're seeing here is the, the Soyuz descent capsule. That's the dark thing at the bottom of the parachute. Uh, that actually is the central part of the Soyuz spacecraft. There's two other modules that separate just before the vehicle hits the atmosphere. Those sections burn up. This section has the crew inside and has a heat shield, of course, and it's designed to survive reentry. So it's coming down very gently uh, on this parachute. And as it gets right above the surface, literally an instant before touchdown, uh, some solid rocket motors fire, very jarring to give them a little bit of a break uh, right before they hit the ground. You know, these guys have uh, been in weightlessness now for five and a half months. And as you can imagine, uh, getting a good shock at landing is, uh, is certainly not expected. Uh, so, as we continue to look at this picture here, a little tough to see, actually, but we did, it looked like, Bill, see the outline of a helicopter uh, flying by there. Uh, That's you, right. That, uh, yeah, go ahead. Explain, I'm sorry. explain what that is. You know, obviously, uh, the cosmonauts and, and Jeff Williams as well will need to be uh, recovered from that module. Right. Well, we think they're, I think they're down looking at this video. I think mm -hmm. they've managed to get down. These are Russian recovery helicopters. They're stationed about 90 miles away uh, when this thing, when the Soyuz comes in. Uh, they've been in contact with the crew on board the Soyuz. They've reported they're on. They're feeling very good on board. Everything's gone well. Uh, the spacecraft ascended. There apparently is some haze on the horizon, mm -hmm. uh, but I would expect them to be down by now. We're just waiting confirmation from the recovery crews to, to, to tell us where they are. Yeah, a bit hazy there in Kazakhstan right now. Uh, yeah, and you can see them moving out right now. The ground forces are heading toward the capsule. Yeah, what will happen now in the next few minutes, Bill? Well, you know, like I said, these, these, these gentlemen have not been in, in Earth's gravity for a long time, and they cannot get out of this spacecraft on their own. The Soyuz descent module is extremely cramped. Uh, so the Russian re recovery forces will get to the capsule. They'll put it on its base, so they'll get it right side up, just in case it tipped over on landing. Uh, they'll open the hatch, which is in the very top of the spacecraft. They'll erect this ladder-like uh, assembly around it. And then they'll literally pull the cosmonauts out one at a time and then gently lower them down uh, to the ground where they'll be carried by recovery crews to nearby recliners. Now, that's a standard procedure with Russian Soyuz entries. They let them uh, lay down and rest for a few minutes. They give them some fresh water, perhaps an apple. Uh, they do some quick medical checks. They give them satellite telephones and let them talk to uh, family members uh, before they'll fly them away from there uh, to, a, to another site. All right, as we continue to watch these images out of Kazakhstan, our viewers just joining us, we have just uh, seen, we think, through the haze there, uh, the landing of the Soyuz capsule that is carrying two Russian cosmonauts in addition to NASA astronaut Jeff Williams, uh, the outgoing commander there. He was on a 172-day mission. We've been talking about it with our Bill Harwood. Bill, thank you so much for your insight and perspective. Sure thing.